Exploradores Juniors? Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there! Subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sunda Slow Loris. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck. The driver must be in a hurry. What is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal. I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A slow loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the slow loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food, like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. There you go, buddy. Careful, Ranger Rocky. The slow loris has a toxic bite. You're absolutely right, Katie. And that's why only trained professionals like myself should handle this animal. Good. It still has all its teeth. You get some rest, buddy. Why are you checking for its teeth, Ranger Rocky? Normally, this slow and gentle creature is non-aggressive towards humans. But if the slow loris feels threatened, there is always the chance of it biting to defend itself. So before slow lorises are sold as pets, their sharp teeth are often pulled out. Without its teeth, a slow loris cannot be returned to the wild. Because without its teeth, a slow loris cannot hunt, eat properly, or defend itself. So it's a good thing the slow loris still has its teeth. Correct. This means you can safely return it to the wild. The slow loris likes to spend most of its time in trees. So if you want to find a home for the slow loris, you should look for tall, leafy trees. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! This track is really narrow and bumpy. Leo, the cage with the slow loris fell out. Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a sun bear. Careful everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. 
Oh no! Slow Loris! Hey! What just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow Loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow Loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now let's get you back to the jeep. We did it! We found a...